gives you advice, yeah, on how to live your life, how to live your life. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I have this clubbing makeup, get ready with me. I was actually going to a 30th, but I thought this was clubbing worthy. Starting off with a fresh face, I'm going in with my Magic Lumi Primer by L'Oreal first to give me that glowy skin that I'm after for a night out. And then going in with the Designer Brands Longwear 24 Hour Foundation. I pretty much went with this because it's super, super full coverage and it just looks really, really good. It has a tiny little bit of flashback, but it didn't bother me. So I'm going to spread it on with my fingers and then go over with my damp beauty blender. And then that's my base. Now going in with my IT Cosmetics Eye Lift in a Tube, I'm pretty sure this is called. So I'm using the Bye Bye Under Eye Concealer first on the parts where I really need that concealer. And then going in with the highlighter on my forehead and then just around the edges of that concealer and then on my chin as well. As usual, I'm then going to take my Tim Beauty Blender and blend it all out. Everybody gives you advice, yeah, on how to live your life, how to live your life. Don't you know? As I need a little bit extra coverage underneath my eyes and my dark circles, I'm going to take the Bobbi Brown Corrector and place that there. And then I'm going to set it all and bake a little bit with the Rimmel Translucent Powder. So I'm just going to leave that in the concealed areas and let it bake. Going in with my L'Oreal True Match Powder, I'm going to set the rest of my face. Now this one matches my skin tone, so... Then I'm going to fluff all that baking off and it will leave everything nice and highlighted. Next for brows, I'm using my Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow in Taupe and I'm going to brush out my brows first and then I'm just going to fill them in with the Dip Brow. Moving on to eyes, I'm starting out with the Soft Ochre Paint Pot from MAC and I'm just going to place that on my lid all the way up into my brow and then I'm actually going to set it with a Makeup Geek Shadow in Vanilla. So I'm going to just take that on a nice big powder brush and set all that. Then I'm going in with Beaches and Cream as my first transitional colour. I love this one because it's nice and light, like it's nothing too dramatic, like you can barely even see it. But it gets it started on the shadowing. Then I'm going in with Creme Brulee, which is a favourite transition colour of mine. This one's nice and warm toned, which is what we're going for tonight. And just taking that all through the crease. And then going in with Latte, which is a bit deeper as well. I'm just building up the transitional colors and then, you know, just to make it deeper in the end. Now going in with Taupe Notch. That's really hard to say, Taupe Notch. And this one's on a more defined brush and I'm just taking it around the crease of my eye. And now to give it that really like purpley look, I'm going in with the color Bitten. Now this color is so gorgeous. It's definitely one of my favorite shades from Makeup Geek. And I'm just taking that and just blending it as I go kind of thing. Uh, taking it all around the crease and then just slowly easing it out and smoking it out. And yeah, you'll see me use a few different brushes and things like that because I just want it to look nice and blended. Now for the lid, I'm using this color Charmed. Now this is amazing. Makeup Geek Foiled Shadow. It's kind of green, kind of silver. I don't know, it's magical, hence the name Charmed. <laughs> and then I'm taking a domed shadow brush and blending it in and then taking a bit more bitten little by little and making that more prominent kind of thing. Going in with Charmed to make sure none of it's blended away and just having a play until I feel like the eyes are done with the shadow. I want to be where 
Now for some winged liner, I'm using this super liner Black Buster L'Oreal one, which worked quite well on the first wing, but on the second wing it was kind of like drying up or something. So I used another one as well to finish off the wing, but there's my nice big wings for a night out. Now for mascara, I used the Benefit Roller Lash, but I did kind of steal some mascara from another tube because this one was quite dry. <laughs> Going in with some bronzer, this is a Makeup Forever bronzer in 35i, and just taking around the edges of my face. Now for blush, I'm using this gorgeous Milani pink blush in Dolce pink actually. And I'm just taking on my cheeks and giving me that nice glow. Now for some contour, I'm using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Kit and taking the middle contour shade and contouring the heck out of my face. So along my cheekbones, forehead, jawline, nose, you name it, I'm contouring it. <laughs> And of course I'm going to use a Becca highlighter today. I'm using Opal, which is just absolutely gorgeous. Look at my reaction at the end. <laughs> now for some knockout lashes. These are the Esquito lashes in Voila. So I love these lashes. They are just bomb AF. I'm going to line my lips with a nude liner. I really like these model prefer ones. They're like really nice and creamy. And then going in with Creme de Nude by MAC. I just wanted a super, super nude lip to go with this eye look. Because I hadn't done a super nude lip in a long time. Then using Protest Queen, which is a gloss by L'Oreal over the top. So I want a nice, big, juicy lips. To give my eyes a bit of extra boom or whatever, I'm using this champagne colored eyeliner on the inner corner and then setting it with Butter Pecan from the Semi Sweet Chocolate Bar Palette. And then I'm also taking that on my brow bone as a highlight. And there you have it, there is my finished look. This is actually the night that I reached 100,000 subscribers. So I just wanted to quickly say thank you so much for all your, your love and support. I love you guys so much. I hope you guys enjoyed this makeup look. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye. Oh my God, this just happened. And I'm doing Pete's hair, I'm just like screaming. <laughs> oh my God, Pete. Oh, now it's gone on screen. <laughs> <laughs> oh!